Dear our channel viewers, we continue our series explaining important aviation elements in the simplest way. Following your request, let's find out what is the difference between ground speed and airspeed. Okay, so we already figured out what altitude is. However, another important measure while flying the aircraft is speed. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and start from the beginning. In order to answer the question of how fast you are flying, first of all, you should understand the difference between the ground speed and airspeed. When you are traveling by car, the speed you are going is being measured relatively to the ground or, for example, a tree nearby. Now let's imagine we are enjoying the flight in the air balloon. If there is no wind, the balloon would not move and just stay in one place. But as soon as the wind appears, you will start to move relatively to the ground or the same tree that we have mentioned as an example before. This way your travel distance will correspond to the wind. Makes sense, right? Okay, so the things become a bit tricky when talking about the aircraft. In no wind condition, aircraft speed would be measured relatively to the ground or the tree as we would travel by car. So in this case, the distance traveled per unit of time would also be the same. However, when the wind appears, it's a game changer. Because of the wind, the air moves itself. Therefore, even though you will be flying at the same speed, your travel distance relative to the ground will be different. You will travel further. Or in other words, your speed relative to the ground will differ from the speed relative to the air. In aviation, ground speed is expressed as GS. There are many air speeds, but the speed which corresponds to the movement relative to the air is called true air speed or TAS. In case of wind blowing from the tail, or also known as tailwind, our ground speed will be higher than true air speed. Or in other words, your car will need more speed to reach same distance as with aircraft, because aircraft get some help from the wind. In opposite conditions, while having headwind, your car would need less speed than aircraft, traveling the same distance because of the wind blowing from aircraft head. Ok, so let's summarize the information. In tailwind conditions, ground speed equals true airspeed plus wind component. In headwind conditions, ground speed equals true airspeed minus wind component. Hope this video helped you to understand the difference between ground speed and airspeed. We are looking forward to your suggestions in a comment area below. And don't forget to subscribe us!